Welcome to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team bouncing in for another video. Uh, we're in the back in the Fox den and today we're going to be doing another video on uh, what's the difference between an HDMI switcher and an HDMI splitter. We get a lot of questions of uh, what do I need? I think I need a switcher. I think I need a splitter. So we're going to go in and kind of talk about as, as BCB gear, we offer a lot of these products, but which one would be best for you? The biggest difference is, um, we got a HDMI switcher allows for multiple inputs to typically one display. And so you're able to switch your inputs. If you have multiple, like uh, multiple computers, devices, ca uh, maybe cameras, uh, DVD players, media players, um, video game consoles, whatever it may be, versus HDMI splitter is pretty much taking one input and splitting it on and displaying it all on multiple outputs on display. The same input pretty much mirrored. Um, so diving in, let's go over to our HDMI switchers. Uh, we brought today two, two different types. We have our uh, HDMI, just uh, kind of a, just a simple HDMI switcher. It's just all HDMI in and then one HDMI out. It's a very simple unit. This is great for like home theater setups, media, media centers, whatever it may be. Like I mentioned, if you have multiple HDMI devices, like a a video game console, a Blu-ray player, or like a cable box. That's what I'm looking for. And if you're at home and you want to you know, just have your big, your big 85 inch TV, you just want to plug it in. You can easily just push the button right here and switch between your sources. Also allows for audio extraction. Um, so it's a budget friendly way to switch between your, uh, your sources there. Over here is our BG PS41 BYOD uh, 4K. It's a presentation switcher. So this is great for either conference rooms or like computer setups where you can have multiple computers and uh, multiple uh, devices you could plug in. And since multiple, a lot of computers have different uh, connection ports, connection types, output types, not just H HDMI, may have like a USB-C, USB, -C, USB um, or A, whatever it may be, different connection types, this allows for that. So it's more tailored to uh, maybe computers because um, it allows two HDMI in, USB-C in, as well as a, a wireless connection. It has allows to connect to mobile devices like an iPhone or Android, as well as you can wirelessly present from your computer. So this allows more options for one setup. Like I mentioned, it's four devices in, one display out. Um, and so a lot of good options on there. Moving over to our HDMI splitter. So like I mentioned, pretty much what this does, it takes what in your one source and it outputs the same one on multiple displays. So right here we have our BG UDA E14, uh, um, that 14, that 14 stands for one by four. So one source in, four displays out. Um, so this is great for if, if you're trying to display on multiple TVs, um, the same image throughout maybe like a, a hotel, casino, whatever may be, even a sports bar if you're showing the game throughout multiple TVs, this is a great unit for that. Also, this comes in like a one by eight, one by 16, one by even 32. So if you have one source and uh, multiple displays, this allows you to mirror that image. Just one input, um, multiple outputs. Um, kind of diving back into our switchers here. Um, like I mentioned, they have some lo little more options on, um, this allows for audio extraction. This uh, BYOD actually allows for, uh, as well as audio extraction, um, if you wanna connect to a home theater or even like, um, maybe in a conference room setup, like a speaker system or whatever to hear um, maybe some music sound, whatever, if you're playing a video. This also allows for some key VM switching. So you're, you could plug in some keyboards, mouses, um, even like a USB camera into the peripherals and you can, whatever computer is plugged in the USB host, you can access those as well. So a lot of uh, options there on sharing. And then going into our back over to our splitter, um, this is a little more jam packed, a lot more options, a lot of more control options. It has, uh, first of all, audio extraction, digital or analog, if you want to connect it to a like a, a sound system, AV receiver, or home theater. It also has a loop out. So if uh, all your displays are in another room, it allows you to see what's on your source. You see your source right there if you're look, looking to monitor that as well. Um, actually, this unit allows for edit management. So if you're having some issues with um, 
or it just helps with uh, that handshake between your source and display, different resolutions, uh, different, um, if you have different types of TVs in one source, different um, refresh rates and that kind of thing. So it allows for easy um, connectivity there. So there you have it. It's, it's the biggest difference is um, multiple sources in, one so display out, one source in, multiple displays out. Um, but this is just mirroring that one display and this allows for switching of your multiple sources. So, um, and there's not, BZB gear is not just limited to these one devices. We have multiple presentation switchers and HDMI switchers as well as HDMI splitters. This HDMI splitter is actually a long range HDMI splitter so it allows for extension. So if, if your displays are more than 30, 40, 50 feet away, you, you don't probably don't want to use that HDMI cable. It'll start to become very unreliable. So this allows for HD, this has four HD base T um, category cable out to a receiver to your display. So allows for extension for long range. Um, and we have a video on that, how that um, in full operation, how that works. So there you have it. If you have any more questions or still not too sure what's gonna be best for your environment, feel free to reach out. Some of our sales experts would love to talk to you, see what we can come up with a solution for your uh, situation. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you, answer any of your questions that you may have. Don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out. And as always, have a great day. Bye.